Good morning, kids. Are you ready for the kids' Bible lesson? Woohoo! Hi, kids. It's Bible story time. Today we're going to talk about cookies. So, if if Mama and Papa have the bag of cookies, you can each take a cookie, but don't eat it yet. You have to just look at your cookie. And some of you are going to have a picture, maybe of a horse on your cookie, or a castle. Or maybe a crown. There's two different crowns. And then I'm going to take this one. This will be my cookie. So look at your cookie and look at the design so that you know your cookie. And the baker that made the cookie wanted it to taste good and he wanted it to look nice because he wanted it to do the job that cookies do. And what job do cookies do? We love to eat cookies. They Cookies were made to be eaten. Well, we're going to look in the Bible and find out that God made people. So I'm going to read you a Bible verse here out of Psalm 139. It says, I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, and I know that full well. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God. How vast is the sum of them. If I were to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. God made people. He made you, and you, and you, and you, all of you. And he made all of us different, every single one of us different, just like our cookies are different. He made some of you with dark colored hair, and some with light colored hair, and some with blue eyes, and some with brown eyes. He made us with, with 10 fingers and 10 toes, but some of us have long fingers, and some of us have short fingers. And he made us with freckles, and he made us with, some of us can sing, and some of us can play musical instruments, and some of us can play sports, and he made us all different because he wanted for us to serve him. And he had all kinds of different things that we could do for him. But he made all of us wonderful. And we can praise God for that and thank him for that. So it says, I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. How precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God. So not only did he make us, but he thinks about us. And even like when, remember when Jonah was running away from God, God was still thinking about Jonah. And Jonah just had to, had to come back to God and do what he wanted. And then he would be doing what God made him to do. And that's what we need to do, is we need to do what God wants us to do with and, and be thankful for how God made us. Sometimes people don't like things about themselves, like they wish that they had a different color of hair or something, but that doesn't make any difference because God had his plan, and he wanted us to do what, what people do to serve him. So your Bible verse is, How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! When I awake, I am still with you. Psalm 139, 16 and 17. So now take a look at the cookies. Which one was yours? This one was mine. Now you can take your cookie and you can let your cookie do what it's supposed to do and eat it. Okay, bye kids. Yum. Okay, kids, see you next week.